morning. Today we're going to plant some creeping phlox, phlox subulata, in a new house garden. We brought these in containers from the old house, so let's get started. Okay, here is some phlox that I brought from my old house to the new house. They are planted, blooming, and everything. They're in the um, styrofoam fake hypertufa pots, but I brought those to plant at the new house. Now it's the two different types, and I haven't studied up. It's both the small ground hugging type, but this is the type that's real wiry and thread-like leaves, and this one is the softer leaf, but they're both the ground hugging type. So I don't really know what the difference is. I'm going to have to study up in that. You can see the difference in the flower, these light blue or purple, and then these pink ones. They have a different shape, but I'm going to figure that out, but we are going to plant them on the side and get them into the ground. And I need to look around and find the wagon so that I can do that. Now these are some plants I'm going to be working on possibly later today. These are the ones we got at the Meadow View Growers. I think that was called Mystic Illusion. And my black and blue. Some erodium, rosemary, mimosa, and a few other sedum for little terrariums. But can't wait to get to those. But that'll either be later today or day next week. Who knows when I can get to it. Now here's the area where I'm going to plant, right next to the garage side of the house, with the bushes that I've not identified yet. That's the leaf, and then here's the flower. So I'm not sure what that is, some kind of viburnum or whatever. Got a couple of pots that I'll probably carry around, some weeds to take care of. But here's where I'm going to plant the flocks. I'm gonna plant them in this area right through here. Got a couple branches I'm going to have to trim, but this open area will be perfect. Look at that chickweed. I think that's the chickweed. But I got them trucked up here and a weed bucket. So I'll get busy seeing what I can do. Okay, here's the uh, styrofoam that I had to hack to pieces to get the flocks out of there. I got my hole dug and it's ready to go. Okay, the only way I could get these out of their styrofoam container since they've been in there for so long is just to take a shovel and to break it. So that's what I've done right there. And you can see how tight the roots are packed in there. I'm going to have to do it again. And these are one of my real pretty ones, one of my favorite. But I can't get it out. I'll just have to make another one. So here goes. There we go. Now I can struggle it out of there. And the 
this is going to obviously have to be cut many times. There. So it's out. And we'll just discard these. Okay. Now. I mean. Let me check the root ball. Yeah, he looks pretty good. I'll take his little wire screen. He's dry. But we will put him in some water. what that is what the difference is but you can see the flower shape difference over to that one we got these two side by side so they'll intermingle so that's it both of them planted and I'll put some water on them Thanks for watching and be sure to hit the like button, that little thumbs up, and subscribe and make a comment if you have any questions or can give me some advice. Watch some more of my suggested videos here too. Thanks.